Chen Delbene? Very good. Is that right? Good. Yes, Delbene. So everyone gets lucky every once in a while. <laughs> but I'm actually turn to you to, uh, to introduce the piece of legislation you have before us, please. Thank you, um, Chairman Bishop, Ranking Member Grijalva, and members of the subcommittee. Thank you for allowing me to testify this morning and for holding this hearing. Um, I'm pleased to appear before the subcommittee in support of H.R. 908, which is the Green Mountain Lookout Heritage Protection Act. I'd also like to recognize Scott Morris from the Darrington Historical Society for joining us all the way from Washington State on very short notice to be here today. Um, his testimony will highlight the history of the lookout and what it means to the community. And he will also be sharing some breathtaking photographs of and from the lookout, which you really have to see to believe. In 1933, the Green Mountain Lookout was constructed as a Civilian Conservation Corps project and was used to detect fires and spot enemy aircraft during World War II. In 1988, Green Mountain Lookout was listed on the National Register of Historic Places. In late 2001 and early 2002, winter weather caused the collapse of the lookout's base, which was not entirely adequately engineered to withstand the heavy snowfall. Starting in 2002, the Forest Service, along with several agencies, began modifications to ensure the lookout's long-term stability. The Forest Service was then sued by an out-of-state group alleging that proper National Environmental Policy Act protocols were not followed. A U.S. District Court judge subsequently ordered the removal of the lookout from its current location. The Forest Service will move forward with removal if we do not act right away. Along with Senators Murray, Cantwell, and Congressman Larson, I introduced this legislation to allow the regular maintenance of the lookout and to prohibit the Forest Service from moving the lookout unless it is necessary for preservation or to ensure the safety of individuals nearby. The lookout is an important historic and unique part of the Pacific Northwest and is a popular destination for hikers in the Glacier Peak Wilderness. Local government and advocacy groups, my constituents, as well as non-governmental organizations such as the Nature Conservancy, the Wilderness Society, the Backcountry Horsemen of America, the Mountaineers, Forterra, the National Trust for Historic Preservation, all stand strongly behind this bill to keep the Green Mountain Lookout in its rightful home. Additionally, as a result of the unfortunate lawsuit and ruling, there is a significant financial burden being put on taxpayers that is very concerning. With an estimated cost of over $100,000, moving the lookout is a very poor use of limited public funds. As this committee knows well, we are dealing with challenging budget constraints government-wide right now, and the Forest Service is no exception. Moving the lookout would place an unnecessary financial burden on the Forest Service during tough fiscal times. Surely, there are more critical needs to the agency's central mission than moving the Green Mountain lookout from where it's been since 1933. While we were successful earlier this year in delaying by one month the process to move the lookout, it will take an act of Congress to stop it. The need for immediate action is great because if the lookout is moved once, there's no moving back. Congress has the opportunity to save an iconic landmark while saving taxpayers money by passing the Green Mountain Lookout Heritage Protection Act, and I urge this committee to move quickly to pass this bill. I'm also pleased to join my colleague, Congressman Reichert, to testify in support of H.R. 361, the Alpine Lakes Wilderness Additions and Pratt and Middle Fork Snoqualmie Rivers Protection Act. Congressman Reichert has long sought to protect these lands and rivers, which are now located almost entirely in my district. I was proud to add my name as an original co-sponsor on this important legislation. Our collaboration on this bill continues a long tradition of bipartisan support for the responsible stewardship of Washington's public lands. This tradition began with Senator Scoop Jackson and Warren Magnuson, followed by Senators Dan Evans and Slade Gorton, and continues today. Most recently, former Congresswoman Jennifer Dunn joined with Rick Larson in protecting Washington's newest wilderness, Wild Sky. And I'm pleased that her son, um, King County Councilman Reagan Dunn, is here today to carry on with her support for public lands. The Alpine Lakes Wilderness, just 45 minutes from downtown Seattle, is one of the most popular wilderness areas in our, in our entire system. Countless local residents and visitors to Washington come to Alpine Lakes to hike, camp, hunt, fish, and enjoy some of our most spectacular open spaces that Washington has to offer. Outdoor recreation is a crucial part of our economy, generating $22.5 billion in consumer spending each year and is responsible for 20, 227,000 jobs. As I've traveled throughout my district, there's been overwhelming support for this bill. 
local elected officials, businesses, hunter and angler groups, recreational groups like the local mountain bike community, conservation organization, and religious leaders have all endorsed this bill. Finally, Congressman Reichert and Senator Murray deserve praise for the time and effort they've invested in this legislation. I encourage the committee to take prompt action to move both H.R. 908 and H.R. 361. And I thank you again for all of your time this morning. I yield back. Thank you for your testimony. Bringing a bill that helps preserve a historic structure brings joy to this old history teacher's heart. So thank you. Once again, if you'd like to stay, please, please feel free to do so. Congressman Mishu.